As you may already know from my prior videos, this is Grand Seiko's 55th anniversary of the 44GS case, which first appeared in 1967 and was the first ever expression of the uniquely Japanese Grand Seiko style. We have had a very well-rounded collection of limited editions to commemorate this already, and today we have another offering, which is the SBGP-017. The SBGP-017 has an enhanced 9F85 caliber, and a dial that represents the clouds that form around the mountains on occasional mornings in the Shinshu region, where this piece and all other Grand Seiko quartz models are made. Apparently, the air is so still and humid that dense clouds gather and overlap to create a sea of clouds above Shinshu's lowlands that stretch away to the horizon and in every direction, and are tinged with blue which is reflected from the skies above. But is this just another cool story, bro? Or are we looking at the best of this year's limited edition pieces, and maybe one of the best watches that they have ever created? Let's find out! What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Grand Seiko SBGW279 Aurori Songbird, which is a USA exclusive version of the SBGW231, which has been a huge success. This one has a very vivid blue dial that is the most vivid blue so far that Grand Seiko has come up with, and a simple and clean look. I recommend taking a moment and checking this one out if you like a clean, simple, smaller watch. Wrist check time. I have my Omega Seamaster on again with this mesh bracelet because I really just can't stop wearing it. This bracelet gives this whole watch a new life in my opinion, and it's a pleasure to have it on. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. The SBGP-017 Sea of Clouds has a 39.7 millimeter case width, an 11 millimeter thickness, a 46.2 millimeter lug to lug, a 19.2 millimeter lug width, a 32.5 millimeter crystal diameter, and weighs in at 140.58 grams. The case is the 44GS case, which evokes the original 44GS Grand Seiko, which was released in 1967, but is now a bit more refined. It has broad areas of Zeratsu polish on the lugs, with a small area of matte finish at the inner edge of the lugs. A small facet of matte finish is found at the top of the sides of the case, and more Zeratsu beneath it. A non-screw-down crown can be found at the 3 position, with the GS logo at the tip. The sapphire crystal is slightly curved and sits above the bezel to help protect it from scratches. The bezel is completely Zeratsu polished and shines tremendously. The dial has the lion's mane texture that can also be found in other famous models such as the SBGA413 Spring, but in this case it is in a light blue tone that represents a sea of clouds outside of the Shinshu Grand Seiko studio where this piece is made. The GS logo can be found at the top middle portion applied with a blue tone and a black printed Grand Seiko beneath it. The dial markers are rectangular and a double marker exists at the 12 position. They are all polished excellently to match the case. A black minute grade can be found between each dial marker. The hour and minute hands are classic Dauphine style with sharp facets and a blued second hand to match the GS logo. The date window has a high polished frame and can be found at the 3 position. It has a white background and black numerals. The highly sought after gold star can be found at the bottom portion of the dial, which signifies that this has a master version of the 9F caliber in it, and will have a crazy 5 seconds a year in accuracy. No loom as usual can be found on this one. The case back on this quartz piece is shockingly open, and shows off the beautifully finished 9F85 caliber, which notably has a Seiko battery installed. The limited edition number can be found on the case back as well. Thank you and congratulations to number 1058. The movement is Grand Seiko's in-house 9F85 caliber, which is a quartz movement that has been specially enhanced to be accurate to 5 seconds per year versus the usual but still great 10 seconds on the other 9F models. If you aren't familiar, Grand Seiko grows and ages the quartz crystals for use in these and only picks the top performers to actually be used. 
They call this movement a twin pulse quartz because it actually ticks twice between each second, and your naked eye can only see one tick. This movement delivers a high torque for the large hands, which keeps them moving precisely. It also has a backlash auto-adjust mechanism, which eliminates any shutter in the second hand, and a time difference adjustment feature that allows you to change the hour without affecting the seconds or minutes. The batteries in these movements typically last for around three years and can be changed at our shop. And we may throw in that first battery if you purchase the watch from us. The bracelet is a standard five link design. It has matte large links with Zeratsu polished smaller links. A folding clasp with the GS logo can be found at the end with no micro adjust. The SVGP-017 is limited to 2,000 pieces worldwide, is 100 meter water resistant, and could have been yours for $3,800, but it's completely sold out already. Now for my personal opinion. I wish that I had bought one of these myself. This one is magical, and the way it sits on my six and a half inch wrist is just perfect. It is very thin and feels fantastic to wear. The dial is striking, and I really love the blue GS logo and second hand. I think the interesting part about this watch is that Grand Seiko picked the best combination of attributes all together in it. And if one was removed, it would be a lot less interesting. Such as the display case back, the star enhanced movement, the fascinating dial, and the blued hand and logo. If you take away any of these attributes, I think the piece would be not remotely anywhere near as good, especially the enhanced quartz movement, which makes my brain say, oh, okay, it's okay to buy a quartz because this one is really special. But they put it all together and this one is just awesome. And the price is not inflated unusually either, although Grand Seiko definitely could have. I wish that they made more of these so everyone could purchase one, but unfortunately only 2,000 exist. So I will just say congratulations to those of you who did pick one up. And this would have been a great option for someone just getting into Grand Seiko who wants a striking and affordable limited edition that can be worn with many different outfits at many different times, or just a collector who wants a killer limited edition quartz model. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.